World War Z, and this is a Claymore build for the Hellraiser. So, this Claymore build is very effective in Horde mode, and I want to clear something up immediately before we get started. And that is, if you're starting with a secondary thumper for the Hellraiser, you want to make sure you're using the base grenade launcher and not... Oh, excuse me, hiccups. The incendiary grenade launcher. And the reason for that is the incendiary grenade launcher does not deal explosive impact damage when you fire it. So that means that this directed blast ability will have no benefit on the claymores. And it will not affect the flames. The bonus zombie damage from Zombie Hunter will, but the damage from Directed Blast will not. The only time you'd take that Flaming Thumper is when you're using either the Exterminator with their flame perks of increasing, you know, the burn damage and burn duration or whatever. But it's specifically for Molotovs. But if you just want to have some sort of flamey build, or if you're not using Directed Blast and you're doing something like using Nimble Thumbs, you're going for like a shotgun and claymore build. But in this instance, we're taking the thumper because the thumper will give you a tactical option for taking down heavily armored enemies like bulls and infectors efficiently without expending a large amount of ammunition. So these claymores, what the claymores are going to do is, you see this re free refill perk, it will refill your ammunition throughout the wave as you're firing your primary weapon. So, as you get kills with your primary weapon, you're attempting to fend the zombies off and keep them away from your claymores. And as you keep them away from your claymores, your claymores will get kills, which will refill your uh, equipment by getting kills in rapid succession. And each claymore that goes off makes it very easy for job satisfaction to trigger. And should the claymore not get all of its kills, the fire area of effect that it leaves behind will make sure that it caps out its maximum possible number of kills. And we don't have here Kitty, but that reduces the number of kills that it's allowed to get. And we're not using C4, we're using Claymores, because this is a Claymore build. The Bounty Hunter ability, combined with Directed Blast, will make it so Thumpers will be able to kill bulls in two shots, or one shot if they are slightly injured. Which, in most cases, if you're playing with other players, they will be injured. So, this whole build works together to really support these claymores and keep your primary ammo refilled. So, the claymores are refilling your primary ammo, and as you're expending your primary ammo, that helps pickpocket refill your equipment, and when bulls come to interrupt that flow of you killing off all of the normal affected zombies, then you will use your thumper to quickly get rid of that bull, without having to really turn your attention away from killing the horde and keeping them killed as many as possible. And we've got welcome mats, so that way we can have the zombies gather around the explosive, and it'll detonate shortly afterwards. It won't detonate on just one zombie, there's a delay. So it'll detonate deep inside the horde, as opposed to on the surface where it'll only kill one or two stray zombies. So, with that said, I'll go over the prestige perks. So, this first perk does nothing for you as a Claymore uh, Hellraiser. Second perk might do a little bit with switching to a heavy weapon or something, but we don't even really have the heavy weapon bonuses. Third perk, very beneficial. 10% more targets with any explosive, you kill more. And then the final perk, the Thumper gets to carry one additional grenade, which is very useful for expanding the ammo capacity of that weapon. It extends the number of bulls that you can kill uh, just by that much. The prestige perks aren't really crazy for the Hellraiser. The third one is probably the only one that will really have an effect most of the time. I mean, I guess the throwing distance is nice, but most of the time when you throw it, it's you're gonna have here kitty and you're just gonna lob it right in front of you and the zombies are gonna come running towards the C4 anyway, so placement of the C4 is not very, uh, not very crazy. It doesn't need to be fancy or anything like that. The zombies will come to it and you just blow it up. So, that is the Claymore build and what we do with each of the perks and why we have the Thumper. Because the Thumper can be refilled. The Heavy MGL cannot. And 
Well, since we don't have a focus on heavy weapons, it's somewhat wasted mileage, and it's not a permanent solution that we can have to the bulls and special infected. While we can lay down a claymore if the bull is coming at us directly in front of us, or maybe try to simply dodge it or something like that, it's not the same solid solution as just whipping out a secondary grenade launcher, blasting it, and then moving back to your focus of targets, which is the normal zombies. Right, so I think that covers it, and let's get into a game. Okay, so so on this horde mode, I did have some pretty uh, oblivious allies, let's put it that way. At the beginning of the match, I did sit there and just test whether or not these people are aware of screamers or if they're capable. Now, there was a level 50 medic who was maxed out at, at rank 30 who was pretty smart, and they understood their role as a medic and team member, but the rest of the players, they... I have no idea what they were doing. I, I honestly do not know. But uh, I hope that you guys get to see the build and enjoy uh, how the Claymore is constantly giving me ammo and temporary health boosts uh, at random intervals or planned ones depending on where the horde spawns and how it keeps my ammo sustained it doesn't it doesn't give me infinite ammo but it definitely lessens the weight that there is on ammo boxes and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it have a good one we're gonna start our horde mode start hard mode and we're gonna start our own game Got Tishon. Alright, there's the build. So you're gonna see a lot of things come into play. We're gonna see the ammo regeneration effectiveness coming into play. We're gonna see us getting extra claymores back from, uh, you know, killing zombies. Satisfaction triggering. The ammo box does get used sometimes, and we have a use for that with our secondary grenade. We're evacuating people as fast as we can. Hold on as long as possible. We're going to set up these, uh, some of these claymores down below at some choke points. We can also set them up at areas where there's flanks, and that's also good. There's no limit to how many claymores you can set up, so go ape shit with them. Go crazy. Go nuts. Just don't set up like 30 of them in one spot and expect uh, expect good results. Nice. Is that a breaching charge? Yes, it is. Found the door smashing. All right. Gonna try and unlock some better weapons. We got another player who joined us. Electric grid activated.
Got him. Just a single detonation should give me pretty much full ammo for my shotgun right about now. We need to replace this shotgun soon. Although it's not that bad. Be honest about it. You know what? I'm gonna intentionally not kill that screamer. I'm gonna see if these other dudes are capable of killing screamers. We're gonna it's a it's a community test, alright? We're gonna test if other people are capable of killing screamers. I don't think that they are, but we will see. He's right there, right in our vision. And the characters are constantly talking about the screamer, so we'll see. I'm not gonna kill it. I will intentionally not kill the screamer. I'm ignoring it just as hard as they are. And I refuse to kill it. We got a medic. Come on, guys. You can do it. It's just one screamer. Drop that screamer. No more oh, shit. Come on, you guys can do it. Kill the screamer. You guys are capable of killing it. You can do it. Come on, I believe in you. It's just one bullet to the screamer. He's been screaming for about two minutes now. Come on, community test. Come on, you can kill the screamer. You can do it. He's right there. Okay, go ahead, heal up. You know, he's awfully dangerous. Nope, he still can't do it. So, if that doesn't... Okay, there we go. He finally... They, they did it. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> they killed him. It took him a while to do it. But, if that doesn't show you how low the bar needs to be set for, you know, the average players of this game, that's about as low as it goes. And... Those guys were like level 999s, right? Level 1000s. People who either copied a save file or they're legendary players that have a thousand hours of playtime. One or the other. Right? Everybody, check this out. Lay 
hand down to Claymore. So, yeah. When it comes to screamers and shit, if you don't get it, they will not be gotten. You gotta get before you get got. Just like Medea said. Whoops! Didn't mean to set it facing that way. I'll get a weapon that has more reach real soon. And I'll start to be able to focus more on claymores when I have a proper weapon with some reach. Buy a nice little tier 3. Oh, by the way, for those of you who may not know, this is a bit late, but the Screamers, basically, they will spawn more and more zombies, and the wave cannot end until you kill the Screamer. So, that's how important it is to kill them. Hey, ACW. All right. Holy crap. Here we go. Got a nice little explosive ACW. Jesus Christ, man. The equipment evaporates as soon as I buy it. <laughs> Jesus. Drop that screamer. Oh, yeah. And as you can see, my ammo just got refilled on the ACW. From all of the Claymore explosions. I don't think we're going to make it past the next wave if I don't intentionally go for the Screamers, so... Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that. Because uh, this group, nobody knows knows any of the Screamers. Jesus. There we go. Screamer down! Okay. And he's dead. Gas. You got them all. Restock and patch up. 
patch up your defense lines. You better hustle. Another swarm is almost on you. Laying down the claymore. Okay. Let's get some more claymores. Alright, and I've got my weapons and everything all settled and squared away, so... <sighs> I'll get refilled by my claymores, so I don't need to expend the ammo boxes quite yet. I'm facing these mines backwards, so that way it'll blow up when zombies climb over the fence, as opposed to blowing up when... The zombies simply approach, and that'll let the explosion uh, let them stack up more and make it more likely that it'll kill fifteen zombies. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I probably should have refilled my ammo earlier in the wave, but I squeezed a couple of bullets out of it. And I was unlucky enough for all my shit to blow up too early. To be impactful. Get our partners up. Doctor on the scene. I'm up. Swarm defeated. Stock up and check your defenses. You don't have much time. All right. <clears throat> oh, payload right. Oh, you were all mine. Make it. Make it. Think he's gonna listen? Move now. My bad. Need a med kit. I'm impressed. Laying down a claymore. Lay it sideways. Get this last set of claymores. Drop that screamer. I see a big one. There we go. Coming up. 
There we go. Now we got things going. We got a creep. Area clear. Stock up and check your defenses. Hurry up. All right. Reload our ACW ammo. No fixer, so unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way and just use the ammo boxes. Oh, that's perfectly fine. To refill our grenade launcher, we could use it. Psst. Keep it down. Come on, creep. Woo! Creeper taking out. This tunnel is a really good tunnel to lay a lot of explosives down in because it oftentimes fills up with zombies before people even have a chance to respond. Med kit. Okay. And also, filling up the outer right and outer left on the second floors. These areas are also great. Yes. Got a door, Joe. I'm in bad shape. Need we them to hear us. Putting the mine down. Hey, look at this. So sometimes we can keep one claymore on us because, you know, if you want to, if you're encountering a, you know, a bull or something like that, you know, aggressive enemies, ones that may be difficult to take down at close range with explosives and shit, you've got your C4 for that, so. That refilled our ACW ammo. Some of those Claymore explosions. Let's keep up with the kills. Sorry, Kimiko. Keep buying lots and lots of uh, supplies and making sure we're trying to keep the team stocked and healthy with plenty and plenty of bullets. And we're going to keep this hallway filled up with explosives, not placing them too close together. Shh. Keep the noise down. More equipment for the team and myself. Putting the mine down. And lots of mines around on the uh, outer sides because uh, the they really come ru bum rushing through here, and this will buy us some extra time. Hey, kill zombies with fire. We can do that. Yeah, 
There we go. Here, here comes another detonation. You can see each detonation is another full magazine for us pretty much every single time. And you can see we could use weapons like this ACW with impunity. Very little worry about the consequence of ammo capacity or longevity. I guess we're not gonna do the <laughs> flame kills. We only got a little. The ACW is a type of weapon that's super heavy on the ammo box, but with this much ammo income, like, it's not going to be very difficult to achieve our goals. We're, getting, we're making sure we're putting these up in spots where the zombies like to clump up, they like to flank, or uh, they like to come in flocks and droves in certain areas where it's just difficult overall to reach them in mass or quickly. Blowing the door. Putting the mind down. All right, I'm going to try and passively move myself to a better position. To place more claymores as the zombies come. Placing this down here. Gonna attack the zombies again. And there goes another one over to the right. Some of the zombies are gonna run through the flames, and I'll get ammo from the zombies that died to the flames. You can see how it's keeping our ammo afloat. That's the efficiency we got going on here. grab ammo because we're running super dry. It's okay to keep the weight off the ammo box, but you don't want to be bone dry.
everybody. Check this out. Buy some tier three weapons for our allies. Putting the mine down. Come check this out. Putting the mine down. That shit where he's moving around, it's hard to predict his direction. Those flames ought to lick off a couple of zombies. I think I'm placing these a little bit too close together. So I'm just gonna leave that there like that. There we go. Putting all of these uh, from where the hordes bunch up and rush in. So, the initial explosion definitely won't take care of all of the zombies. That's, that's just a fact. But, the flames will help make sure each, clay, each and every single individual claymore gets as much mileage as it can. And it also means the ammo won't all pour in all at once. Very quickly taking care of those infectors. Oh shit, they're coming from below. Alright. Now you watch my ammo, and you see I'm getting some ammo regeneration from the zombies that are being on fire. You can see a little bit there.
Here we go. Get this stuff. Here we go. Got that. Back to the other side we go. Oh crap! I thought I was at zero ammo, but apparently I'm not. Med kit. I need a med kit. Med kit. Thank you. Keep the team all ammoed up and shit. Putting the mind down. Come on, creep. Someone give me some Putting meds. Putting the mind down. Right. Woo! Creeper taking out. Those guys down below on the left there, they're gonna give me some of my ammo back. Reloading. Back dang near to full. Look out. Bomber. And the zombies piling up on that fence, they're gonna burn to death, give me some ammo regen. As they die over time from being on fire. I did it. You did. There we go. I thought I killed it earlier. Everybody, check this out. Let's get some med kits. Med kit here. Laying down a claymore. Making sure everybody got plenty of equipment.
Putting the mine down. <laughs> Back away from that, and let the flames take care of as much as it can. You know, I was hoping that that would be like a really cool shot. There you go, got it. I missed like four times, but you know what? This is YouTube. This is where we clip shit like that and only clip just the one shot, alright? equipment for the team, keep stacking up my uh, C4 explosives and all of that Lay shit. See, there's more zombies over on the left. Try to get an angle on the screamer, but that, from down below, and that was a bad idea. So, I need to actually move to my safe spot and do it for real. And as you can see, I'm back to full ammo again. Yeah, uh -huh. uh. Who's next? 
Here we go. Put a couple claymores here. Down. Front of the fence. Oh. Anybody got a med kit? Med kit! Psst. Keep it down. Wow. This guy runs to grab the med kits from the medic. I was about to say, bro, that's a little bit greedy. Hey, we don't want them to hear us. Putting the mind down. Laying down a clay move. There's no more equipment, huh? Damn. I'm hoping the Claymore will take care of uh, most of those zombies and then the other guys can get the rest of the fence. Jesus Christ, the number of gas bags flooding the upstairs up here. They're spending all of their stuff or if they're hoarding it. I'm curious. Putting the mind down. 
We're gonna put some mines right here as well. Another one deeper in here. Medic's nice and smart, they know what to do. And there goes my claymores kicking in and giving me a shield at random when I actually needed it. And I'm at full ammo as well. Right when I needed it. And remember, I didn't pick up an uh, ammo box at the beginning of this wave either. I did not mean to back myself into a corner like that. Well, that's it. That's about as far as we get, but I think I've proved the example of the class well enough. Oh yeah, that gate's fucked. There is absolutely zero way. All three of my partners are dead. Oh well, we got pretty far. Uh, considering that the players, the caliber of the players we were playing with, that they literally were oblivious to screamers. Uh, I think we did pretty well, and we got to represent to you guys, you know. And there you go, you can see. We killed plenty of zombies, we did really well. Got a lot of uh, explosive kills, 984 to be precise. So about a third of our kills, or maybe a quarter. I don't, I don't know if I was three or four thousand. So either a third or a quarter of our kills were all explosives. Which means all of that was ammo coming back to us. And then attack on some zombies that died to flames afterward as well. So it's a very, very sustainable thing. You can set up defenses very, very well. You just have to make sure you've got everything in mind before you're doing it. Alright, have a good one. And enjoy the class, enjoy the build, and have fun with it.